All right, uh, this is the uh, completed uh, laser security system. Uh, I have one camera in place and one laser in place, and uh, it works. So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we have uh, the Raspberry Pi here. My uh, room, my work area is a complete mess, but I'll try and. Uh, Try and describe you what's happening. Okay, we have the Raspberry Pi right here. Uh, it's running all the uh, all the server, the web server, and uh, the webcam live feed, and the laser. Uh, so what we have here going on is uh, we have the breakout here. Uh, and this, uh, this board here contains uh, several wires that uh, turn on the laser, uh, read data from the laser, and give the laser power. Uh, so that's uh, we got the five volts here, and the ground, and then the data. This is this guy all coming over this board, which is green wire. Now this little wire goes to the laser. Uh, up here, we have uh, the uh, printed circuit board that I made that has the uh, has the uh, photodiode, uh, transistor, and a LED that will uh, give us feedback on what the heck's going on. Uh, and then it uh, feeds the uh, yellow wires coming here to the laser diode. Uh, use some, uh, got a Lego set from uh, Walmart to actually uh, support the thing. Worked pretty well. Uh, basically have a ball and socket joint there that's uh, nailed in the wall. Uh, I got about 15 ball and socket joints for about $11. Pretty good deal. Uh, then down here we have the laser reflector mirror. Uh, hold on. So this uh, this mirror down here is also a ball and socket joint, uh, just mounted to the wall. Uh, so this, this mirror uh, reflects the laser beam. Uh, so the laser beam comes out of there, comes down here, goes in that mirror, bounces back, comes back to the sensor. The sensor has an output data line that comes back here through the blue wire, and comes back uh, and bounces back to the Raspberry Pi. Uh, Raspberry Pi reads that uh, voltage, and then uh, if it's interrupted, it'll uh, send me an email. Uh, from that email, then you can uh, view the live feed or download the video. Uh, so let's run this bad boy. Now it's going to run a startup sequence where it turns on the laser and uh, basically just checks everything. So I'm starting the code right now. And this runs uh, all the time. So there's laser turn on, off, on, off, and now. Next time it turns on, it's just going to stay on. Now it's actually running running the uh, code. So we got, right now that green LED is off. Uh, so that means that uh, the laser is in fact uh, not tripped, I guess. Uh, so here, here in my code, we've uh, built the functions and we're waiting for an event. And that event could either be, uh, right now I have a button press on this keyboard. Uh, so let's do that one first. I'm pushing the button now. So basically it's a laser on pin 23, uh, that's what I'm simulating with this button. So we're going to send a message. Uh, so that's, that's the laser, or not the laser, that's a button. So it has sent me an email. Let's come over here. Uh, so this would simulate a second laser, um, the one that's not on the wall. Um, so it sent me this email. Uh, it actually took a snapshot of the room at the time and uh, send me an email, and there's a couple of links on here that I'll show you with the actual laser when it trips it. So, uh, let's try it with the actual laser. I'll go ahead and delete this email. So now, it's waiting for anything to happen. It could either be the button press or a laser tripwire. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to break this laser beam with my hand here. I'll try and get everything. So, notice this when I break it, my LED comes on. It's over here running me sending me some uh, messages here and I'm going to take my hand out of the laser beam it's going to print some more stuff here so what happened is when I pushed the button uh, it was trip R23 when I tripped the laser it was pin 25 so what it did is the laser has sent me an email now So here's the uh, laser, laser one that the laser has sent me. Um,
So we're gonna go ahead and click on this. It's gonna take me to the live feed of the video camera. And let's see here. Yep. Nice little webcam. Got everything going. Um, yeah. So then we can uh, eventually I'll have A, B, so this is camera A, B, C, and D over here. And you go to the security mainframe. And this will have all the cameras. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's it.